Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, super quick one for you today. I get asked uh, quite a lot about people who want to make drum covers on an electronic kit and uh, ask my advice, like, how would you do that? Well, here's how I do it. I'm not saying it's the best way or the most, uh, it's not the definitive way. It's certainly not the most sophisticated way, but it is one way of getting a really nice, clean sound, super quick. I use this bit of kit, it's super cool. It's called the iRig Pro Duo. Looks like that. And Duo as in two channels. One, two, and it's basically an interface that allows you to go from your drum sound module, your drum brain, to your phone or your computer or whatever you're using to record. Oh, here's the box, by the way. Looks like this. I'll link to it in the description below as well. Very cool, very simple bit of kit. What you do is you go out. I go out from the stereo out of my uh, drum brain. I've got a Roland TD-11 there. It goes into channel one and channel two. What you do is you. it comes with a little app which you download. You can see at the output level of the sound coming from your drum brain. So you can set the gain on these two little gain knobs here. You seeing that? Those and those. The gain being like how strong the signal is going in. So you can check it's not too quiet or it's not like distorting because it's so strong. And then you simply run the other end of the cable into, well, I've got an iPhone uh, 11 uh, Pro, so I run it into that. There's also cables that come with it for running into um, USB, like for a computer or whatever, anything on USB or there's also one for Android, so whatever you're using to record, you could do that. And it's a super simple, super effective bit of kit. What I'll do after this video is, uh, when I finish talking, I'll just turn this off, and I'm just gonna plug it in and do a, like, a minute or so of playing, so you can hear what it sounds like. All it does is it recreates exactly what's coming through your sound module and gets straight into your phone. So if you want to record stereo drums, that's a great way of doing it, because you've got left and right on channel one and two. If you want, which you would, if you're doing a cover to have the track that you're playing to as well. Well, the simplest way of doing this, this doesn't give you any like post-production uh, sort of possibilities, but that's not what this is about. This is something simple. Um, you could use the, the aux in, or Roland call it mix in. So you basically have the music going into your sound module so you can hear it in your headphones or coming out your speaker. And then everything that comes out of that sound module is gonna come uh, into the box, which is then gonna go to your phone. You get what I'm saying? So it's an interface between your drum sound module and your phone or whatever you're using to record. That's what I use, super simple. There's a million and one other options out there. I'm not saying it's the only one, I'm not saying it's the best one. It's actually the only one I've ever used, so there you go. But it is unbelievably quick and effective. And uh, you know what, I think, I mean, I love the acoustic kit. It is my first love, to tell you the honest truth. But I think I'll throw a few more, more videos up from time to time uh, using this. And uh, I can even do it, because it's got two channels, I guess I can even do a video where I talk on one channel so you get the direct mic feed uh, and uh, then a, like a mono, uh, channel of the kit as well. So I hope that's helpful. Any questions about that, uh, let me know. That's, I feel like, a little bit of a step up from the most, most basic way that guys would use to make covers when they're very first starting out, which is literally just pointing your phone at the kit and with the sound coming out of a speaker. I mean, honestly, that's okay as well. I always feel like all this production value stuff, I always think like if your performance is engaging, like basically nothing, nothing matters, but it is kind of annoying to hear dunk, 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 like that acoustic sound, especially on the rubber like cymbal pads, you don't really massively want to hear that sound. It can get in the way of your enjoyment of the sound a little bit. Although I never think, worry about it too much, man. I think if in doubt, flipping make something, put your heart into it, play from your heart, stick it on here. People, will, if it's good, people are going to watch it, honestly. Like it really doesn't matter. Um, as you progress, as your channel grows, or as you have more resources or whatever, as you, as you I don't know, grow as a drummer, you can then up your production value. So that is, the, that is it's, a, it's a little, this, using this box, is a little bit of a step up from that, if you see what I'm saying. So what you're getting with this is, they are not getting donk, donk, donk of the pads. You're getting the sound directly from the sound module uh, into your phone. You're recording it direct. And as I say, have a listen after that. You'll hear that nice, clean sound. Thanks a million. Any questions about that, give us a shout. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.